So welcome to Intermediate Algebra, Math 099. We'll go ahead and take a look at your syllabus right here. If you wanted to stop by and see me, 11 to 11.30 would be a good time, or you're welcome to email me for a different time. Our textbook, Introductory and Intermediate Algebra, is on Hawks Learning. It's an ebook. You can get it for a free trial period, so please don't buy the ebook right away. Once you open that access code, then you cannot return it. So just try it out for a few days and make sure you feel good in this class and you're in the right class for you. It does take a lot of hours to do mathematics, so I put 15 hours a week. It might be more like 12. At any rate, it's quite a while because you need to practice, practice, practice just like you would for a sport. You're learning by doing in mathematics and in a sport. What else do we see here? So here's the um, material that you'll be looking at. The due dates are actually in learnhawkslearning.com and we'll go to look at that in a few minutes. The exams are proctored, so you do need to come in and take those. The exam dates are in your syllabus in bold. If you can't make those exam dates on campus, you're welcome to get a proctor. We'll see more about that in a little while. So three exams. If you can come to campus, I can give you the exams before early in the morning here, 6.15 to 7.35 a.m. or later in the day, 4.30 to 5.30 p.m., uh, rather 5.50 p.m. I'll send out an email that has the classrooms when we get close to those exam dates. Quizzes will be on hawkslearning.com and, and I'll show you those in a little bit. When you take those quizzes, you'll have two chances to get the quiz correct and one hour to complete the quiz, your highest quiz score will be the one recorded. If you aren't able to come to classes for um, camp, rather come to campus for exams, then please do find a proctor. I'll show you the proctor form here on Canvas in a little while. A proctor shouldn't be a friend or a relative. A proctor is someone you work for, an employer, or uh, maybe it's a clergy, something like that. Let's see. So most of your grade does come from exams. The final exam is cumulative. You'll be able to use your earlier exams to study for your final. Uh, for your quizzes, I'll be dropping one and your homework, which is online, and we'll look at that. I'll be dropping your worst three. So you can read this in more detail. I'm just trying to pick out the things that we should talk about. So Hawks Learning, we're going to go take a look at. If you're late on some of your lessons, then you can make those up with a lo losing a little bit of percentage points. Quizzes cannot be made up late. So if you have to decide to do homework or a quiz that day, choose the quiz because you can make up the homework later with a little bit of points off. The Hawks technical support is very good. Go ahead and call them or use their live chat. I've done both and both have been very helpful. So the best way to reach me is through email. Uh, you're welcome to email me questions too, specific questions, and I um, will show you where I answer those on Hawks, I mean on Canvas. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so let's go back to the home page here on Canvas. Uh, before we go to look at Hawks, I'll just sh run through a few things. <clears throat> These links about how to study for a math class and how to journal to increase your exam scores I think are quite interesting and hopefully you can find some tips for studying there. Here's the Proctor Guideline form if you are unable to come to campus at the times I indicated to get your exams, to take your exams. Here's where I answer email homework questions. So 
so far only 6.7 has had questions asked for me so if you get to 6.7 and you're stuck you might want to look through some of these uh, videos that I've posted and here's where I'll be posting exam keys after everybody gets their exams back then you can look at the exam that you took and compare it to the key and see where um, where you could have done a little differently so uh, right now there is no key listed when you click on this I don't I don't think it does anything okay let's go ahead and look at the Hawks learning So you don't have this picture. This is actually my math um, 101 class picture. Uh, you'll have to go to add course. So pick add course. And then please request the temporary access. If you decide to purchase your access, it's going to keep prompting you and you can purchase directly from the website or you can purchase from the school's bookstore as well. But please try the temporary access first. So you'll need to create an account. You'll have to get in the correct class. So your product is introductory and intermediate algebra. And this is a lifetime purchase, so you can always come back and look at these books, which is kind of nice. Your instructor is ADSIT, right here, that's me. And your section is Math 099, seven week one, section 800 online. So that's the class that you want to be enrolled in. Don't accidentally get in somebody else's class. So maybe take a picture of this, okay, so that you can get your class the, um, get in the right class. And then you choose Enroll. And now it should be in here, right? It should look like this, Introductory and Intermediate Algebra. So you can go to the course, View Course. Here's all the material that's to do. You have lessons, web tests, those are what I call quizzes, and other, I'll, I'll be putting your exam grades into Hawks Learning when, I, when you take your paper and pencil exams. Let's take a look at a lesson. So the first lesson to do is chapter two review. <coughs> Here's where you can choose to learn learn things. Uh, some of these have videos not only here but a video down here. Some sections the um, videos are provided by other instructors who work through the UW system. So you can go through the learning uh, practice in a lesson where you can practice problems that are similar to what you'll see in the certify section. And you can spend as much time as you want on the learn and practice. Some students feel like they know a section and they go directly to certify. So if you choose certify, you um, looks like this one has 26 problems. If you don't get over 80% on your first try at certify, you won't be able to try the certifying again until you do a certain amount of practice. However, once you, uh, once you do get over 80% in the certify, you actually get 100. So to certify, you only need 80% and you're given 100 on your score. Practice and learn don't count toward your grade explicitly. However, if you don't learn and you don't practice, you're not gonna do very well when it comes to certify unless you already know the topic from another section, um, another class. Let's see what else I wanted to ask you about and remind you about. On the certify, I mentioned that if you get 80% or above, you get 100. Well, the reverse is true as well. If you do not get 80%, you get zero. So practice enough until you can certify and get that 80%, which will give you 100, unless you're late. One of the um, sections I thought was nice in Hawks Learning was that you can make your own tests. So let's go back to your main course. 
and look at web tests. These are web tests that are quizzes, actually, that I'm assigning you. But you can make a practice web test. And the nice thing about the practice web test is that it's exactly how I make your paper and pencil test. So choose Create a Practice Web Test if you would like to do that. Give it a name and pick out the material that you're going to be um, tested on. So you're not going to be tested on Chapter 1. You could go right to Chapter 2 um, and choose how many problems you want and what lessons you want to pick them from and add them to your test. And this is how I make your test. So you'll get a practice test very similar to the test that you actually take. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. If you have questions with Hawks, uh, please use the phone number in the syllabus because they're very helpful at Hawks and can help figure out what's going on. Uh, have a good semester. Email me anytime.